everyone, I'm in Haxt and welcome to another episode of Outer Wilds. So we seem to be stuck in a time loop. This looks like exactly what we saw when the game started. Everything the same. Look, we have to do things again. I might try having a look for a way to get out of the village on foot. I probably should use the ship because I can use the jetpack then. I suppose I could get into the ship, get the jetpack and get out, and then go for a walk, or even fly over the walls. I'm not seeing any way out, uh, easy way out on foot. Waterfall brings water in. Back to where I started. I definitely went in a circle. I'm not sure I checked every possible place there. But I think we might jump in the ship anyway. Okay, so... He's telling me I need to get the launch codes again. Oh, he doesn't... Believe me that I've already got them, or... I've been inhaling too many fumes from the fuel. I'm not going to try and read all the dialogues um, anymore. I think it's um, quite a lot of reading out, and I think uh, people can uh, can read it for themselves on the screen if they'd like to. I'll just give a bit of a summary. We have a. Uh, Directions on using the little scout. I didn't really look at this the first time. Still got our sardines or whatever the tinned fish is. Let's have a look at the log. I'm going to try opening these this time. This time. And zoom in a bit. Open the entry. Okay, one and only Hearthian village, main source of explosions, and there was a statue that opened its eyes. Cave, okay, centre of Timber Hearth, that's where I did my zero G training, and I repaired the satellite. And we have a rumour about lunar ruins. I right hear there are no my ruins somewhere on Atle Rock. Okay, and that looks like a good place to start. my power source it looks like that uh, blue glowy energy seems to be an indicator uh, that should be good try not to get halfway out of the system like I was last time no real orbital mechanic as far as I can tell. As soon as you match velocities you start to drop if you're close enough to an object. A massive object. There is the moon. I think we use the autopilot this time. to be a glowing red dot there, which might be a campfire or something, I think. Or a volcano. But the little stream of smoke is a bit of a giveaway. So it seems a bit thick for a campfire. Looks like there's some kind of structure there as well. 
Set the scout. Except done. Not very good with the scout. <laughs> I think I need a bit more practice with the scout. Okay, switch to landing camera. Going too fast. That's uh, probably a little bit fast. And I hear whistling. S still not very good with the scout. I don't seem to be able to control them once they launch, unless I'm not doing it right, which is quite possible. Some photos. Didn't really see anything interesting though. Probably don't need the suit, he doesn't seem to be wearing one. But I can hear him whistling anyway. Okay, it's you. So nobody, nobody told him I was coming. And he hasn't seen anyone for a long time. He used to see a lot more ships in the old days, he says. And he's been talking to some of the people from Outer Wilds. Seems a bit lonely. contact by radio and he sometimes sends the scout down to the village so there seems to be an element to the puzzle to do with the different people and the songs they make with the different instruments. And he's suggesting we go to the North Pole and use our signal scope to have a listen to different parts of the system. And he's a bit sad that nobody told me about him. Used to be a lot more uh, ships landing here because the ships uh, needed more repairs in the old days, he says. So he's planting trees up here. Guess that's why he can breathe. So we might go and have a bit of an explore of the moon, see what we can see, see if we can find the ruins. Okay, so I could refill my jetpack fuel there if I needed to. for an extended walk on a very small world. The short horizons are strange. OK, 
okay, this is where we landed last time. I mean, it looks like the crystals have some other significance, but I don't think there's anything I can do to activate them further at, at the moment anyway. That's probably a little bit high, but it did let me see the ruins. Okay. Now we're on track. A puzzle. And another little glowing ball. Which I can move by looking at it. like it just slots in. Okay, so it's like an orrery, which we use to uh, make little models of the solar system, basically. That's what an orrery is, I guess. Or a model of the system, anyway. But this one doesn't seem to be settling down to one point. So I 
guess we try some other settings. I assume that's the eye setting because it won't settle down to a particular point. Okay, so it's pointing to a planet on the other side of the system, it looks like. like a ship. Unless it's the hourglass twins from a different angle. Now I'm not so sure. Let's check out the North Pole. We definitely know where that is. <laughs> Luckily we have a map. A bit of jumping puzzle for fun. Though with a jetpack it's not much of a puzzle. Except when you overshoot. Esker's signal scope log. Okay, so he's heard Rybeck's banjo from Brittle Hollow. Oh, he hasn't heard it, so he's worried. He's listening to Chert play for a while today. And Porphy and Gossen were flirting. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today, so Rybeck's fine on Brittle Hollow. And he's heard some strange sound. And it's coming from Timberhearth. Feldspar's harmonica, but Feldspar disappeared a long time ago, supposedly. He thinks the signal scope might be broken and he talked, should talk to Nice. I don't know if I met Nice. I think I probably did. Back in the village. But he could be someone I have yet to meet on one of the planets. That's a banjo. On Ember Twin. Is that brittle hollow? Now I'm confused. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out when I get there. Now that's definitely Timberhouse. I can tell because it's green, and I'm hearing both a banjo and a harmonica, it sounds like. strange sounds on unknown oh is it just an unknown signal oh little flashes of light too there's an unknown frequency I guess stage we're just gathering data still. Not really sure what's going on. There's obviously some kind of time loop, but what caused it and how we're going to fix it, I still don't know. But I don't expect to at this stage. Obviously involves investigating the Nomai.
do wonder if the Nomai is actually us. But we've forgotten. It's possible. So we've got the map. Oh, it's Giant's Deep. The one where the strange sound was coming from. And it was Brittle Hollow that we heard the banjo, I believe. Dark bramble over the back there. Hourglass twins. Where is Ember? Oh, okay, it could be the companion to Brittle Hollow. It does look a bit red and glowy and the interloper it's a strange orbit it looks like it goes right through the star is that what causes the time loop to start Not to start again it does something to the sun See if we can spot anything of interest, like perhaps that. I think it's coming from the other side of the planet, though. Oh no, maybe not. The distance is right. Luckily it's reasonably forgiving <laughs> about the landings. Okay, out we get. I don't really need the suit, but I'm wearing it anyway. Okay, someone here. And a strange plant of some kind. Surprised to see me? He sent his scout because he saw something crash and he didn't like what he saw so he came in person. And he's never seen anything like it. He thinks it might be extraterrestrial. Or come from Dark Bramble. So he's going to get Marlon Hal to chop it out, I guess. First he wants to have a look inside. He doesn't want to send anyone hacking it without knowing what it is. He wants to send his scout launcher inside to have a look. Rather than putting his arm in. Which is probably pretty clever, really. resetting again. Again. I wonder if he'll notice this time. <laughs> he just thinks I'm crazy. I guess the statue is what's made me 
know that there is a time limit. Oh yeah, of course I've seen uh, know my statue, <laughs> and they don't look anything like us, which is probably an indicator that they weren't. So where to? I should probably finish my investigation of that plant. Certainly a strange universe. Which makes you wonder, is it supposed to be an alternate universe or is it some kind of construct? Maybe not the best landing spot I've ever chosen. Okay. So, he doesn't remember anything either. saying all the same things as before which means we'll probably be sending our scout in to have a little look I think since that's what he's suggesting Of course, when the time loop resets, he's still standing here, so he never gets that far. I think I better do it. Certainly bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. Oh, that doesn't look very pleasant. What's inside? There's something in the center. I wonder. So I'm asking him if, I, if he thinks that it might actually be from Timberha. But if he saw it crash... Hmm. It certainly doesn't look like the other plants here. So if we aren't the Nomai, what are we doing here?
this is a very strange universe there just isn't enough creatures and people here for evolution to have taken place and evolved an intelligent species of course you know who knows but it doesn't seem logical for a little wonder. We'll take off again. Yeah, it isn't a ship, it is the Hourglass Twins. Unless that's what the Hourglass Twins are. I think we should go and have a look. with a some kind of distortion in the center, black distortion. I hesitate to say black hole, but that's what it looks like.
seem to be in the right place, sort of. almost <laughs> okay so I went completely the wrong direction if I had oh that's someone else's ship not my ship okay so he landed my friend from the ruins okay, the door's broken and he hasn't found a way in So we're going to the ruins north. Or at least that's where he went. So it's, it's like a little sun with a volcano just shooting lumps of rock out. More than one volcano shooting bits of rock out. so it was a long time ago. Can't actually get inside. Oh, there's a hole in the roof.
someone looks like they've been here recently. The other explorer from Timber Hearth. Crystals are an indication of the ghost swim. Oh, I think that's the first time I've ever hurt myself. I don't seem to have any health right now. Oh, okay, I've gone a bit red in the centre. Must be suit integrity. Oh well. It may look like I'm lost, but in fact, I haven't been here. accelerated too much and killed myself. Okay, well that's another way to reset the loop. It seems. And here we are again, at the beginning. Probably a good point for us to end today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time.